Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Abo coming to you from the Caravan Stylist Studio inside the Gregory Hotel here in New York City. And today we're sitting down with award-winning photographer Jennifer Greylock, who has been taking pictures for more than 20 years in the entertainment space and has millions of images in her archives. Jennifer, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Tell us how you got started. I was a frustrated artist because I could never draw perfectly. I always wanted to do things realistically and I never could do it. And one day somebody introduced me to the camera and I'm like oh oh I can do art now and it's the way I want to see it and it was really really exciting so I started my my career through college going to school for photography and then jumping into the whole coming to New York and wanting to become rich and famous in my career and be a top photographer and photograph the who's who's and down the line I decided you know what I think it would be good go get my MBA, have my business degree with something to fall back on, and also to be able to use it in my day-to-day -day activities as, as a business person. And tell us how you use what you learned in business school in your everyday business practices. You have to know about marketing. You have to know who your clientele groupings are, your demographics, and then you have to tailor yourself to be able to deal with them and to give them the goods and services that they need, or even if they don't think that they need it, you can present it to them where they think they will. And how did you make a business out of taking pictures? I worked at the magazines um, as a photography director and I, I was always buying photography from photographers to use in the magazines. And I have always wanted to just do straight photography and just be a photographer myself. So I learned that aspect of it and then when I went out I started doing that and then I would work directly with clients and doing portraits and doing corporate and fashion and editorial. And I just kept on doing that and for me it was always working word of mouth. So one person would love what I did for them who would tell someone else who would tell someone else. And then you get yourself a nice portfolio and then you're able to present yourself to other people that you may not know and do your cold calls. Tell us about your face chairs. Oh, the face chairs, they're awesome. They're really a lot of fun. I would go to furniture stores and look for furniture. I could never find anything that was fun and different. Everything was kind of boring and lots of brown fabrics. And I'm like, no, I want color, I want fun, I want excitement. And that was one of the reasons why I started creating the face chairs. I go to thrift shops and other places and I find beautiful furniture. I refurbish them and then I upholster them with the fabric with my photography. So it could be maybe a celebrity face or it could be flowers or an architectural piece or an abstract. It's all different things. And what do you want to say to people out there who are aspiring artists? Stay true to yourself. Understand business because you can't be an artist without business. I know that sounds horrible, but you, you have to be able to be creative, but at the same time, you have to be able to pay the rent. Jennifer, thank you so much. For more information about Jennifer, you can go right here. And to follow me, you can go on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Snapchat, and YouTube. We'll see you next time.